How to beat the Lagombi with the bow in the Monster Hunter, Tree Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate Demo. Now, when I started this demo, I decided to try out the bow because it seemed pretty new compared to try, in which I had been uh, using the longsword. And so, uh, when I went into this one, my friends were like, don't play with the bow, you'll just get yourself killed, and you won't have any fun. So, I took that as a challenge. I'm like, not only will I get good with the bow, I'm going to enjoy it. And not only will I enjoy it, but I'll enjoy it enough that I can teach it, teach people how to, how to get good with the bow. And so I did. And then this video got made. So, the first thing you basically want to keep in mind with the bow is it's not a DPS weapon. You have a series of coatings that you could put on your arrows, and the power coating alone would bring your damage to just about like another weapon's damage. What you want to focus on is actually applying statuses, such as sleep, poison, paralysis, and, and things like that. They give you a lot of items to use, and uh, a lot of them can be used for just exploring. Um, this one is gun specific, and then like these are for gathering, gathering items, and this is to play around with the cooking system. Well, I mean, it's not really a system as much as like just this one little song that plays and you stop the cooking at a certain point. Anyways, you've got some pretty strong items in your inventory. Eat one of your steaks to max out your uh, stamina meter. I would actually discard these because they're weaker. Like you'll, it's very unlikely that you'll get through your mega potions and life powders and, you'll st and that you'll still need healing and that the Legombi will st still be up and running. Next, swap this into the empty space beside the other barrel bomb and be out of there and select your Sonic Bombs. Oh yeah, and you might want to equip that uh, sleep coating. So put away the weapon. One optional step is um, there might be some berries lying on, lying on the ground about here. If you see them, um, you See if you can gather a Might Seed or an Adamant Seed, and those will increase your attack and defense. So there's the Lagombi, running into Area 4, which is fine. You basically want to approach close enough to throw Sonic Bombs at him. Like so. And that'll buy you some time to get into an even better position. You want to stand in a position where your arrows would hit them, hit him at about the peak of their arc. And once you throw those, um, once you throw those sonic bombs, immediately draw your bow and start aiming. Don't worry about dealing damage to him, but aim for the head and try to hit him with as many arrows as possible, and deliver that sleep status. Now, unlike other RPGs, uh, where bosses can be just immune to statuses, this one has sort of a, it has a system where if you keep delivering status and delivering it and delivering it, then eventually it'll build up in their bodies and he will eventually fall asleep. But every time he falls asleep, he'll build up resistance to the sleep, uh, sleep stuff. Which is why you want to have a good variety of statuses on you, so that once he falls asleep, you can switch to a different status and start stacking that on. Also, keep an eye on your stamina. Wow, that was kind of close. Immediately put away your weapon when he falls asleep. This will signal to your uh, companions to put away their weapons and have a look at what you're doing. So you're putting down bombs, they're going to do the same. Set a paralysis trap a short distance away and then walk a short distance away further. Set up... I would put on exhaust coatings next. And select... it doesn't really matter. Give him a rude awakening with the arrow rain.
If you, usually if you signal one of your companions, they'll run up and break the ice for you. If they're able to. I think I knocked him out. No. Not quite. You can cancel a charge by rolling, and they actually let you roll with either B or Y while you're charging your bow. Here, it looks like I broke his ear. He immediately drops an item called a Beast's Tear, which I would loot if I could keep it and transfer it to the full game, or if it did something during this battle. I don't know if, it, if holding a Beast's Tear does something for you. I might just pick it up if he runs away from this area. Oh yeah, if you run out, if you run out of stamina and hold down the fire button, then you'll just continually fire arrows. Did the beast tear disappear? Looks like the beast tear disappeared. Some people like to combo the exhaust coating with the uh, dash juice because that'll allow them to basically maintain full stamina and keep the enemy stamina at minimum. This is a dangerous place to be standing. Because you can be forced to zone out if he knocks you back. Let's go with poison now. Since he's already been put to sleep and paralyzed, he'll be resistant to those. Once we get him poisoned, we can switch to our power arrows and finish the fight. Whoops. With enough practice, you can just do snapshots like this without even... without even using the, the aiming guide. Kayamba, help me! Damn it, Kayamba! Why don't you take after Cha-Cha more? Oh, didn't even notice he was already poisoned. Okay, power coating. Probably a bad time to change coatings. You're given a little bit more, like feel free to, to screw around a bit while, you're, uh, while your prey is suffering from a status ailment. Use healing items and such. Provided you don't put yourself in so much danger while using healing items that the whole point of using healing items is negated. You can check your companion's health on the uh, Wii U gamepad. So if you feel like... If you're not sure whether to use a potion or the uh, life powder, that'd be a good way to check.
guys. In this area, you have to watch out for the giggies, which will latch onto you. I was hoping his stamina would be low enough that he'd only be able to do one slide. Oh, I thought he was sliding out of the area. Still, that gave me an opportunity to fill up my stamina. Now he's escaping. Life crystals. settling down to sleep. I don't believe he actually regains health unless you see him sleeping. But seeing him settle down to sleep is a, is a great opportunity to actually land an ambush on him. I forgot to mention that you do have a uh, melee attack, although it's not really useful for much other than if you have your close combat uh, coating on. Close range coating. I don't seem to have anything else that I could use that... Yeah, might as well put on the close range coating. It doesn't hurt your... as far as I know, it doesn't hurt your range damage, but it's mainly for your slashing attack, and it powers that up. Oh, my snapshots are suffering now. Not my best run but a pretty good demonstration of how you can take down the Legombi and play around with your uh, play around with your coatings while you do it. Play around with your arrow coatings and your bomb items and whatever they give you. Um, you'll probably have a better supply of items and I'm hoping a lot more coatings too to play around with. So try to improve on this strategy and as always have fun I look forward to hunting with you online when the full game becomes available in a couple of weeks 10 days I believe